the British Library is opening up one of the most colorful parts of its collection to the public. It's displaying Arab comics, cartoons, caricatures, and graphic novels that convey the political and social history of the region from the 19th to the 21st century. Caricatures by an Egyptian Jewish dramatist and journalist from the late 1800s as well as more recent works like this Lebanese magazine from 2008. These illustrated tales are a part of the comics and cartoon art from the Arab World Exhibition at the British Library. I think they're being appreciated more, not just as ways of entertaining people, but also as significant social and political texts. So you can learn a lot um, politically um, across Arab history from them. So for example, on the cover of Samir, you find Anwar Sadat and other political figures. Um, but you can also learn a lot socially. Um, so they talk about social issues and they're a way of educating children. But for the past 15 years, there has been a new move towards comics and graphic novels for adults. As well as Lebanon and Egypt, other countries from the Middle East are also represented, including Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Tunisia and Algeria. But the authors and illustrators also combine the West and the East in their work. You do see um, sort of, I guess, sort of taking influence from American comics and even kind of wholesale sort of copying in a way. Um, but you do see the influence of Arab culture coming through as well. So you get kind of traditional Arab um, folk stories like the Joha, for example, appearing in comics like uh, Samir. Um, but interestingly, you find other influences as well. So um, we have a comic strip here in the collection from a Saudi comic called Basim, which has a very kind of manga feel to it. Um, so the influences come from the West, they come from the East, but they're also um, influences from Arab culture itself. Significant historic events like the Arab Spring also had a major influence on these magazines. Although sort of magazines like Tuk Tuk and Samandal uh, really initiated before the Arab Spring, um, they've been really significant after those events um, as a way of kind of political um, but also social commentary. Um, so in our collection and in the display here, um, two really good examples are um, a small book by Nadia Khiari from Tunisia, um, where she uses a cat. Um, figure to really critique uh, Tunisian society and politics after the revolution. Um, and another one is Islam Gawish um, from Egypt, where he uses stick figures as a form of social commentary um, in Egypt post the revolution. Every year, the British Library adds 1,500 to 2,000 Arabic books to their collection. Their aim is to make comics and graphic novels a significant part of the intake, not just because of their visual appeal, but also because of their cultural importance. <laughs> 